So hello everyone, today I will show you how you can convert any image to a material or you can say PBR material and you can create uh, any kind of normal map, roughness maps or metallic maps, anything. What do you have to do? as you have to go to your browser and you have to just write materialize and then you will you have to go down you will get this bounding box software you have to click on that and then you will find something like this you have to download this thing for windows 64 bit so you will get this folder you have to open this one and there is a, a exe file you have to open this and you will see something like that okay so the advantage of this thing is like suppose i download some textures i will just uh, take this texture i will open this one and then i will just download this thing what you have to do first you have to go to the diffuse map and then there is an option of q you have to click on that and then you have to just go to your directory and you will see your image you have to add your image to this one okay so right now it is looking something like that and to zoom in and zoom out you have to use your middle mouse button and for this rotation you have to hold right click and move your mouse and right now it's just a normal image so i want to make this image as a normal map so what i have to do i have to click on the normal map but you can see there is no create option so first you have to create your height map so you have to click on the height map so it will create a height map you can see and you can just increase the final contrast to give some contrast so you have to make sure that you do not increase this thing too much because it will damage your height map so you can just increase this value slightly and then you can just press on set as map so you can see there there we have a map of a height map and now you can see we have the option of creating the normal map you have to create on that and you can see we have the normal map of that same image if you want to leave this thing like that you can leave it i will just reduce some final contrast because it is too high i will leave it like that and i will set as normal map okay and there are a few options also if you need metallic eo ambient inclusion edge map or something like that you can create this thing but for now i will just use this thing after this if you click on the show full material it will look something like that you see this is creating the full bumpiness of the material like that and the rocks are popping out like this so if you want to change the cube map or you can say the HDRI of this thing, you can just click on the cube map so it will give you different type of lights. So after everything, if you want to export this maps, all maps, all three maps, you have to click on the save project and then you can just go to your directory. You have to name something. I will just name it RRR and then you have to select and your all maps will be exported to your directory. If I go to the pictures, you can see. We have diffuse, we have height and we have normal. There is my normal map, there is the height map and there is the diffuse map. Okay, I think this will help you. This is a very underrated tool. I think this tool will help you in your next project. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.